Hey, what's going on guys? This is Beg Brace and welcome to a new video from Machine Learning in Python. In today's video, I'm going just to show you very quickly how to create pandas data frame using lists. And I'm using here Ubuntu's bash terminal. So I will be using command line interface, feel free to do whatever you want. Basically, it will be the same if you're going to create a folder files and open with your own text editor, whether it's Visual Studio Code, Adam sublime text or whatever. First thing that I want to do is to create a folder, I'm going to call it pandas data frame. And I'll create a file call it pandas1.py and I will open that using nano. All right, let's make this a little bit smaller. So I'm going to show you first how to create a data frame using a list. All right, so first of all, I want to import pandas. Then I want to create a list. I'm going to declare a variable called df, which stands for data frame. This is equal to the pandas uh, library or the PD. It's alias dot data frame constructor. And I'm going to pass the list. All right, and let's go ahead and print the data frame. Just let's save that first as pandas one. Let's exit Python three pandas one dot pandas one dot pi. And there it is, we have printed a pandas data frame using just simple list. All right, so this is the first way. Let me create a second file pandas 2py And here basically, I will do the same thing. So let's import pandas. And let's have a list. All right, so it's just a list of random strings. And I'm going to call the data frame constructor on that list, but I'm going to use indexes and columns. Okay, so let me show you df or data frame using the pandas module dot data frame constructor. And it's going to take first argument as our list. And the second argument is an index. And in that index list, I want to assign each string in that list to a letter. So a, b, we have A, B, C, D, E, F. Okay. The third argument is another list called columns. And this is just to give a name to that column. Um, let's say, for example, langs or languages. And let's print the DF. And there you go, we have created a pandas data frame using list, and we have used indexes to assign each string to a different letter. Now, the third example, I'm going to show you how to use the zip function. So I wrote that file already, pandas 3.py. So again, we start by importing pandas, we have a list, and a second list. Notice here that these strings one, two, three, four, five in groups in the second list also one, two, three, four, five. The zip function simply returns a zip object, which is an iterator of tuples, where the first item in each past iterator is paired together. So Spider Man will be paired with M, Superman with DC, Hulk with M, which is Marvel, Black Widow Marvel, Batman DC. Then what we will do is to declare a variable as usual called df. We'll use the pandas um, library dot data frame constructor. Then we'll use the list function. Then I will take the names and groups and we'll zip them together. And the second argument here is the columns just to give um, the columns some names. So, so name and number. Um, this should not be number. This actually, let's make it group. Okay, let's save that. And let's exit. Let's run the file Python pandas 3.py. And there you go, you have pandas data frame using zip function. The last method that I'm going to show you is how to create a data frame with multi dimensional list. So let's create pandas pandas 4.py and we'll import pandas as PD. And let's have just one list, but we'll have sublists or multiple lists inside that major list. 
or what we call multi-dimensional list. So our data frame is going to take the pd.dataFrame constructor and we're going to pass the list as the first argument and we're going to have the names for our column. So we'll say name and mark. So here, name and mark. All right, and let's go ahead and print that. Let's save that first and exit. All right, so we have used multidimensional list and very simply we have generated pandas data frame. The last way that I want to show you is how to use lists in dictionary in order to create pandas data frame. Just, all right, so we will import pandas SPD and let's have three lists. Now I want to create a dictionary of lists. So dictionary of lists and I will call it dict and dict is going to be equal to different um, sets of key value pairs. So the first set is ID number. And this is set to ID underscore num. The second set will say employee name set to employee name and wages set to wages. Okay. Then again, we will use the data frame constructor to pass inside it our dictionary. And let's print the data frame. Oops, I made an error. Uh, data frame with capital F, I misspelled that. Let's save this, let's exit, let's run that again. And there you go. ID number, employee name and wages. And take a look here, this is zero based numbering. This is auto generated, I didn't do it. The ID number, which we have specified in our program, employee name and wages. Okay, so we have used dictionaries to generate pandas data frame. All right, guys, so thank you very much for watching. I hope this video was useful to you. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Once again, thank you very much, guys, and I will see you in the next video. Take it easy.